big dummy. What's up, Internet? Corey Zamer here. We're talking about video gaming bucket lists. This is a video response to Happy Console Gamer. Uh, this video was a few days ago. I'm obviously, going to link it in the description. Um, I really want to talk about this because I'm notoriously bad at finishing games. Notoriously bad. Although I do want to mention I just beat Turtles in Time for the first time on my own. I've always played it with a friend or something. This is the first time I beat it on my own. It took like 28 minutes. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, let's get right into it. Um, the first game is a very recent game, The Last of Us. Now, I hear so many great things about this game, and I love the presentation. Like, everything about this game just screams to me that I want to play it. It's the reason I bought a PlayStation 3. The problem is, when I get stuck on a certain point in a game, rather than persevere, I usually move on to a different game. And I got stuck about two hours into this, when you're in like this clicker maze. Spoilers, I guess. And I... I, I died like four times in a row because I'm terrible at this game apparently and I just haven't gone back to it yet but I hear so many great things although in retrospect I do watch a lot of let's plays on YouTube this would this probably would have been a good game for me to let's play or to watch I guess I wouldn't actually play it because it would be very short <laughs> I, I would have given up um, next game on my list this, this game I actually don't have open. Uh, Fire Emblem Awakening. I bought the Fire Emblem Awakening 3DS when it came out, and it was very awesome. But then I ended up getting the Pikachu 3DS XL. And I thought that it being pre-installed was on that memory card that's in there. It's actually on the system, I guess. So I can't actually transfer that to my Pikachu 3DS. So um, I forgot how many fights or how many hours into it I am, but I'm a decent way. And I, I've actually screwed up my character because I didn't realize how heavy in the magic I ended up being. And I started him as like a physical attacker, but it would probably be a good idea to restart and play through the right way. Uh, do it on my 3DS, and I have this, I have this still op unopened, you know, great game though. Very, very awesome. Although, I could, I've could i been playing it on easy mode, so I don't know how I'd be able to handle, you know, permadeath. Uh, the next game on this list is a PSP game, Patapon. And I love this game. Problem is, when I was playing it, was when I was hanging out with um, a lot of my Magic the Gathering friends. And I didn't like carry headphones around with me so if I was trying to play this game they'd have to hear it and like that can be annoying in a social situation where someone's playing a, a, a video game a handheld but they can't like mute the sound like you I think would be customary because you can't play this game without the sound you know it'd be impossible but great game I'd eventually like to go back to it, it has two sequels the only one I have. Uh, next game on this list is one that I actually have collected for the art style alone. Uh, Professor Layton. This one this is the first one in the Curious Village. Um, I actually rented this from Gamefly once and I got, I think I believe I got through the first part with the mansion, like when you're just, you know, starting the case. But I ended up sending it back, it wasn't really, I think I got stuck on a, on a, uh, test or whatever, and this is the kind of game that I'd like to be able to solve on my own, I wouldn't want to have to go to Game Facts to get through it, because that's fucking stupid, this is a game about using, like, your own wits and your own intelligence to solve these problems, and if you're just gonna go to Game Facts, why the fuck bother, you know? Now these next two games are very important games to me. First one I actually have finished, but I've only ever seen one ending. 
and don't ask me which ending it is, it was a long time ago, um, Chrono Trigger. Now, this game has what I believe to be the best music of any video game, and I have it on my iPod, whenever it comes on, I just think to myself, I really need to get back to playing Chrono Trigger, especially that I have it on a handheld. It's fucking so easy just to pick this up and play. But I haven't been motivated enough, unfortunately, to go back and see any of the other endings. And it has New Game Plus. Like, I'm not sure if the original Super Nintendo version had New Game Plus. I'm pretty sure it did, which means it's far ahead of its time. But New Game Plus on this RPG makes it very easy to go back through. And the last game, I actually just got this complete in box. This is the extra copy actually that I'm going to be selling that I'm showing you. Uh, Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Now, I did a Let's Play something on this, where I made it through, I believe, the second dungeon. And since then, I think I've only gotten through the desert temple. Still don't have the Master Sword yet. And this is another game that I would have loved to have been able to solve on my own, but the problem is I keep getting stuck. Like, I, I think, I feel like I'm too dumb to play this game without game facts, which is unfortunate. Like, I'm just not intuitive enough to figure out where I'm supposed to go, what I'm really supposed to be doing. But I love this, I love, I love this game. And it's made me consider playing other Zelda games, which I've never really done in the past. Like, Skyward Sword came out, never really even considered picking it up. Same thing with the past iterations, like the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Like, I just really have no desire. Back when Ocarina came out, I remember watching my friend play it, and it looked okay, but it was nothing that I was, you know, enamored with. But... I would like, before I die, to finish A Link to the Past. And I've actually been playing, I'm furthest on my handheld, the, um, the Game Boy Advance version. So this has been a video gaming bucket list, video response to Happy Console Gamer. This is Corey Zamir. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, internet, keep it real.